In this video, we're going to talk about some of my favorite non-point of sale carriers and how to use them. Coming up next. Guys, we all have our preferences. Some people like to lead with a carrier that requires a point of sale interview and others don't. In this video, we're going to talk about my favorite carriers for point of sale interviews and why. Now, the first thing that I'm going to say is that if you're leading with a carrier that does not use a point of sale interview, you better be really good at field underwriting. Now, if field underwriting isn't one of your best assets and you're a little weak in the field underwriting department, forget about using a carrier that doesn't have a POS interview. You definitely want to use a carrier that's going to give you an answer at the end of the sale, at the end of the point of sale interview, so that you can tell your client, great, congratulations, we've been approved. The last thing you're going to want to have to do is go back and forth and back and forth for making a simple underwriting mistake when you could have done a point of sale interview and solved the problem right from the start. Now let's talk a little bit about Transamerica. I like them a lot. They don't do the point of sale interview unless the underwriter starts doing the underwriting and they realize they want to ask somebody some questions. They may actually call your client. They'll insure people between zero and 85 years old and they don't care about depression or bipolar or stuff like that. You can give insulin, diabetics, and people that have COPD first day coverage with the Transamerica standard product. Remember, if they're on oxygen, forget it. It's a knockout. You don't want to put them with Transamerica. You want to go with Security National Life in that case. Not only do they take direct express cards, but they're one of the few carriers that actually knows how to draft correctly. Unfortunately, their application is about 10 pages long and it does require like four or five signatures. And they tend to be pretty strict when it comes to what you put in the application. You could get amendments with Transamerica if you're not careful. For more information on Transamerica, check out the video that we made on Transamerica and how to use them in their application. Americo is another favorite of mine. They've got some really cool niches. If you've got a client that has COPD and still smokes, you can give that client first day coverage and probably beat everyone else's prices outright. Remember, if they're on oxygen, forget it. Security National Life. Americo doesn't ask anything about depression or bipolar and they've got an excellent niche. They have no problem with the client being an epileptic or having seizures. Now, Security National Life is another good carrier that doesn't do a point of sale interview. One of their niches is that they only do a prescription check. So with most carriers, they're gonna do a prescription check and they're gonna check the MIB. What that means is that the underwriter takes a look at the answers on the application and they compare it to the information you put on the application about the prescriptions and compare it to the prescription check that they do. As long as there's no surprises, you're going to get the coverage you're applying for. That's why I was their top agent in 2015. If you don't have Security National Life as one of your carriers, you need to email me at doug at ufesonline.com. I'll be more than happy to get you one of their top contracts and show you how to use them. Now, for an additional fee, they do take direct express cards and credit cards. They'll insure people between the age of 40 and 90 years old. They're also really good with people with multiple health issues. They'll insure people on dialysis, people that are on oxygen, and people that have had cancer within the past 12 months as long as they've been cancer free for at least six months. Okay, so one of the things that I do when I make a sale is I leave that client with a social security benefit billing calendar. What that does is it shows them exactly what day they're getting their social security monies on. I suggest you give it to them, show them the dates, circle the dates, and even throw a copy of that calendar right on their refrigerator. For a copy, email me at doug at ufesonline.com. Also, if you're interested in my mentoring program, shoot me an email. Guys, if you got something out of this video, feel free to subscribe below as we're putting out new videos every single week. If you've got an idea for a video training, please 
make a comment below.